Hey you guys, it's your girl LaCosta here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Real Life Love and Me. Now, I know by the title of this video, you're wondering what is going on. Well, in part of my brand, planning is part of my lifestyle. So I am bringing it back to this particular channel. I am going to keep my other channel, but however, planner resets and um, things like that that falls under that particular category with my planner I will be doing it on this channel so this is my first planner reset video that I am doing here on this channel and all it is I'm just going to be replacing out what I still have having my planner from the months of July and August and just putting in some September inserts and kind of changing some things around. So if you would like to see how I do my planner reset for the month of September, stay tuned to this video. All right, y'all, I am back. So let's go on and open up my planner. I'm not sure if I have shown this. I don't think I have. So it's not I'm not sure I know I have not shown this planner on this channel so I'm going to open it up and just show you all what I have in here so far so starting with the cover I purchased this cover from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and it was a ring binder um, planner cover however I took the rings out because I am a disc and all of that is falling out <laughs> I am a disc bound girl so I took the um, rings out and I just added the planners in for my inserts so I use a five size letter uh, inserts in this particular planner so this is my a5 planner and because it has multiple sections in it, I call it my catch-all planner. And I have two, four, six, eight discs that I am using that holds up my inserts. These are the metal discs by Happy Planner. I purchased them when I was a full-blown Happy Planner girl some years ago. And I'm not using those planners anymore. However... I can still use the disc and these are the metal disc so I did it half and half as you see they're teal and gold to go with my brand colors on this side I have some pockets um, I have some pockets back here that I keep some planner um, accessory items here if I'm planning on the go you know to use like little dots or kind of highlight something I keep it in that big side and with well, a big pocket in here I have some um, pockets here as you see I have my appointment cards I have some today sheets um, that are with my brand I had a paper company do the create these for me on a notepad and I never added them in my Etsy shop however the thought has come back to the forefront of my mind so who knows what will come in later days but this is very quality uh, paper it's very thick I love it and it allows you to write very smooth on it so it's just a today sheet where you could put your to-do notes a lot of times I use this to do my brain dump when I'm getting ready to decorate for the upcoming week so that's that and these are my little sticky notes as well same company that created this it has my brand on it and they're just little sticky notes that I use um, throughout my planner if something comes to mind um, or I just need a good little reminder or note or whatever I will use those sticky notes here I have a couple of um, business cards and my Venmo card. I went blank there for a minute, but I used the, those in the card slots. And here I have some circle transparent sticky notes that I purchased from Fancy Plants Co. Um, that I just used there to also 
flag um, or put a note down in my planner and actually these um, sticky notes here are my tabs here that I use and they're just there to kind of just tell me what section um, that I'm getting ready to turn in into my planner it looks a little used because hey I use this planner every day so I may be changing it soon or I just may wait until the 2024 year when I get to do a big upgrade with my planner but right now they're still getting the job done it's telling me what sections um, that are in my planner and I'm okay with that now for decor and I'm I'm gonna try my best not to make this a very long video but for my decor I have this little Manista that I purchased from old soul paper years ago when she was doing digital Manistas and I think she looks like me because I love to wear skirts one of my favorite colors is black I wear glasses I do a lot of twist outs so she looks like me and I think this is the perfect thing to open my planner up and see here I have this as my track, my habit tracker um, little dashboard. It has my morning routine, evening routine, and my personal habit trackers. I need to go back and fill this in because this was for last week. As you see, I started off the week very good. I did complete some of the items, um, not necessarily all of them, but I'm going to go back and check off what I completed. So going into a new week, I review this transfer these habits over to the new cards put them right there and try my best to stay on tech or not tech on track i'm sorry y'all try my best to stay on track so that's that um this is a quote from oprah winfrey your journey begins with a choice to get up step up and live fully love that quote of course this is a picture of me and hubby a picture of me and my son I love this quote that I created. God is working in this season because he most definitely is doing that. And back there uh, on the back it says, In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. This comes from Proverbs 3 verse 6. And of course here is a wonderful and beautiful picture of myself. I love my hair like that. I will be getting it, getting it back like that soon but yep i gotta have me in here and of course you know i am definitely a coffee drinker and it says may your coffee be strong and your students be calm Whew. if this is not the truth as living a life as an educator we gotta have coffee all the time honey so i like that and it's in my planner so um this is just a clear dashboard by happy planner that I decided to have um, in the front because it has that little tab here. This is a note that I heard. I'm not sure what. Oh, I know where I was. I was in Louisville, Kentucky when um, someone mentioned this particular phrase. And it says, Lord, put me in the position where I don't have to beg, borrow, or struggle. I desire to have a nice peaceful and prosper prosperous life so that kind of stuck with me and of course it says amen at the end so i wrote that on a piece of note paper and put it in my planner so all right very quickly this is just a dashboard that i created 2023 it is time to start designing my 2024 calendar y'all um planner insert it's weird we just started the month of september and we have three more months left in this year wow so this is just a full calendar view of 2023 i designed this myself thanks to canva so um it just came to mind of how i wanted it i designed it and there it is this is uh these are just little inserts of where i can put um upcoming events on and planning out my year in advance so that's what that is so my first tab is schedule it's my personal schedule i will go in to fill in the monthly review for the month of august these particular inserts i purchased from fancy plants co i will link her 
shop down in the description of this video but it gives me the opportunity to write down it is front and back what my monthly review was for the previous month and what I am looking forward to the upcoming months I have to do that for the month of August so oh I got June in here too y'all so now we're about to go into my personal um personal planning schedule this is for the month of june let's see was all of this june looks like it this was june this was july and this was august now for august i did not use any of my weekly um layouts which was supposed to be in the week on one layouts i did not use any of them what i did i planned on the go so I use my daily planner layout which looks like this so when that happens this is what I do take it out stick it to the side I could use it for another month or whatever so I didn't uh, decorate anything on these so there's still some good I wish this was not on the back of my planner but I mean calendar view but it is so it's okay um this section i have passwords and to my accounts so i'm not going to show you all that information of course because that is private but this is when i started using the daily layouts in my planner so uh, i planned on the go for the month of august and i really actually enjoyed it did i do this every day no i did not and that is okay so um i'm just gonna pull these out because guess what i'm not using them this month and i can actually go on and pull out i did not know i had june in here though i pull out this june review i think my july review is with it yeah so i pull out this that's june this is July and this was August so since I did daily planning for the month of August I will put my daily schedule inserts with the full month calendar and I will just put it with this and I will archive these and then uh, I'm going to flip to the home section. I'll come back to my personal section in just a second. But I'm going to flip to the home section. Of course, I have pictures of me and my two favorite guys in the world. That's me and hubby. Me and hubby again. And me and our son. So, this is my home tab. And I have the home dashboard that I also created. And this is just letting me know what zones I do for cleaning and which zone, which zone, what the zones mean. Y'all, I couldn't get that out. So for zone one, that's like the living room and front bedroom. Zone two, dining room and kitchen. Zone three, bedroom, bathroom and hallway. Zone four, office area, laundry room. Zone five, outside, meaning front yard, side yard driveway and backyard so that's what my little memo for that is uh, now for the month of August I used the calendar layout for um, the month of August from Fancy Plans Co and I only did one week where I wrote in it but guess what that was it and I did my cleaning schedule but that was it but I'm still going to pull this out, archive it with my other inserts, and I have a monthly layout for um, this dashboard layout from Fancy Plans Co. So I'll just move that up in the front and I'll just put September. Uh, across there I remember ordering these from her when oh wait this is I remember ordering these from her it was in the oops packet so this had a different month month on it 
I just whited that out and I can decorate that page or whatever. So technically I don't need any inserts for my home section and my planner because I already have them here. And in the back of this, I have my menu planning. I'm gonna have to print out some inserts of my weekly um, cleaning schedule so I can stay on track with that because in my home section I keep up with menu planning and the cleaning schedule so I'll print me out some inserts for that as a matter of fact let me print them out so you can see how they look and I will be right back okay you guys I am back so I went in and I printed out five of the weekly cleaning schedule it is front and back so it's it starts with Monday Monday and end with Sunday or if you want to go from Sunday um, and backwards I mean you can do that but I started with Monday and it just has a little grid chart on the back if you want to write any notes or any cleaning supplies that you need to pick up from the store you could put it on the back of here so I'm just gonna um, put this for right now um, in the back I guess that's the good thing about <laughs> creating your own um, inserts is you can print them as many times you need to <laughs> on the go or whatever so this is the menu plan here on this side you could just put your shopping list and the weekly menu and lately hubby and I have been um, planning our meals out for the week so I will sit down with him to see what we have in our pantry and our freezer to make up meals for the week if there's anything that I need to go to the grocery store and grab or he go to the grocery store and grab or we go together and put it on the shopping list so the front part is for the house household but the back part I use for work um, because we both have started taking our lunch to work and I am starting to take lunch and breakfast to work so I just put that on the back of here so that's how I use these this insert in my planner and of course I just mentioned about the weekly cleaning schedule now this is my faith section this is where if you've seen any of my shorts or my reels on Facebook and Instagram and here on YouTube I do daily devotion and I also um, do my sermon notes for that week from church on the back or just create a new sheet so um, I ran out because I started in July and I ended it in August well me and August and then I kind of transferred it to a notebook but these are my daily devotionals so I've used these up so guess what I'm going to pull these out and archive these as well with the other inserts um, and I'll put those in in just a second and this section is my social media which is work for me this is um, because I I have really officially decided to call myself a content creator slash influencer so um, this is why I pretty much jot down all of my ideas for social media reels blogs um, videos posts whatever it is you name it it's in <laughs> this section so I won't show you guys everything that's here because some of the stuff I have not released it yet and it has brand information on there but I do want to show you the layout that I am using if I can get to it I may have to print out my monthly I am going to have to print out my monthly um, calendar set up for that but I use the subject layout for my social media work so here I can write what sections is for. So the first one may be YouTube, the second one may be website, which is my blog. The third one may be Facebook, fourth one 
may be Instagram and TikTok. I pretty much combine those two together. And then on the bottom one, it will be like notes or ideas and things like that. So this is how I plan out my social media life. And this is what I use for this particular section. And also if I have any ideas or who I've conversed with regarding projects, upcoming projects, then I will put it in this section. Um, let's see if I have a blank one. I need to create a blank one. Well, you guys can see that one. This was one that I started on, but I kind of messed it up and the layout of it was all wrong because it printed wrong. But this is how the blog um, layout looks. It just helps me with uh, planning out what my upcoming blog post is going to be so I need to print some more of those so I can put it in here all right and this back section this is my budget area this is where I use my um, payday information what I am budgeting for the month what I what income I have coming in for the month this is just my income this is not my income or my husband's income combined together it is just my income so um, I have a debt tracker expense tracker monthly uh, subscriptions which I do need to sit down about that because my monthly subscriptions are changing uh, for the month of September I kind of cut out a whole lot a whole lot of um, back in the month of August so need to go in and update that I start one for September I just need to sit down and finish it so yeah I didn't want to open it all the way up because again I have some private information in this section as well now very quickly I wanted to show you this is what I was really looking for this is a layout that I am going to um, use this month in September for social media. So I need to pull that out and I'm going to put it up here. I'm not going to use the subject layout for September. So let's, where do I stop? Up? Actually, I can pull that out. I'll pull this part out. Yeah. Okay. That is archived. And I will pull these out, stick those with the extras, and put this layout in. Now these little inserts here, these are for the mini size happy planner that I purchased from Fancy Plans Co. They're like little note sheets that I use specifically for my social media um area because I get to jot down ideas thoughts numbers etc etc so whew. all right so now i have flipped back to my personal section um the monthly review i'm just gonna take one and leave it in here put these with the extras so so far i have the weekly week on one layout the subject layout and these monthly reviews I'll put these in a separate in a paper clip together so if I need any extras or anything I can just go to that and pull it out so for my personal I am going to go back to the weekly layout and I am going to insert my September insert and this is a new layout that I am trying out y'all it is called the horizontal chart so first let me go on and put this in all right so of course i have my uh, monthly layout and all of my planner inserts for calendar weekly whatever it comes undated i'm an undated girl because it gives you the flexibility to use it whenever you want to. So this is undated. I love this simplicity of the <laughs> dashboard cover for the month. And I created that also myself. So now um, this says currently this month, this is where I will put like 
birthdays, anything that's important that's going on this month, I sit it right here and then I'll transfer it over to the weekly layout. And I could just put in notes that I need to uh, do for the month of September right there. So this is the horizontal chart layout. This is something new. I may like it. I may not like it. I designed it a while ago. Never used it. I said, let me give this a try. So I'll just pretty much put my weekly or daily activities on here and for the chart section i think it's going to be the uh either to-do list for the day or the importance of the day but everything else it'll just pretty much remind me what i have for that day so if i have an appointment um during the week if that appointment is on tuesday that appointment information won't go in this box it will actually go in the chart area and it will be highlighted so that's how I think I'm going to use this and of course you see where it says notes priorities goals and next week this will allow me to prepare for next week and when the next week comes guess what I can look at that and be like oh I got such and such on so and so day so when that day's day comes guess what I could put it on there so this is a new layout that I am trying you guys let's hope that it goes well so we'll see this is not available on my shop i don't like to put anything on my shop until i try it out to see how it works for me so um once i try it and i think it's good enough to be put on the shop i will let you all know that so that's this this will be for the month of september now um, for home, I, again, I'm using the inserts that I purchased from Fancy Plans Co., which will be the dashboard layout. I am very familiar with the dashboard layout. It's actually one of my favorites. So for home, I'll be using this. I have priorities, goals for the week to buy, to do, a little chart graph right there. And of course, the dashboard layout on this side. This, I will probably um i'm not sure what i would use this for <laughs> i was gonna say i could use for weekly meal planning but i already have an insert for that so i'm not sure what i'm gonna use this section for but we'll see for the faith section i just needed to add in my daily devotional inserts so which i know i'm gonna have to print out some more this is why i would do daily devotional um, and also for Bible study, I use a totally, totally different planner for that. So Bible study is not in this planner. It's in another planner because we are doing using a book at my church. And hubby and I will sometimes sit down and just talk about the lesson again for the week. So that's totally different from this. Now I printed out an additional um, insert. This is the vertical box insert I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for I may not even use that um let's see no I'm not going to use it I just put it with the extras so when I just want to um, use an insert in this extra stack that I will keep at my desk um, I'll just pull that out but that's it you guys oh let me put my tab back in for this I'm going to go in and pretty much date off camera because you guys may not be interested in it if you are interested in it of course by all means leave me a comment down there in the comment section and hey guess what we'll start decorating <laughs> um spreads on this particular channel but i do have this today tab here that i use i got this from fancy plans co that's why you see her information there and i'm not sure what came on it but i was like you know this can make a cute tab for my planner bingo there it is and one more thing I like to keep two pens with my 
uh, planner. So I have the Sharpie pen, which I think this is a, I've had it for so long, I'm not sure what size, but I think it's a 0 0.3. No, this is the 0 0.7, 0 0.7 Sharpie pen. I love how this writes. And I also have the Sharpie S gel pen. This is also a zero. Okay, no, that is a 0 0.3. That's a 0 0.3. This is a 0 0.7. And I keep them in, I keep them both in my planner. So um, I have something to write with. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for this planner reset video. Um, I showed you guys a full flip through of my planner and I have put my September inserts in here. I'm excited because September is one of my favorite months besides the month of June, which my birthday falls in and the month of December, which is one of my favorite holidays, which is Christmas. Uh, September is a favorite of mine because I love the fall season and September kicks off the fall season. So you're going to start seeing some fall decoration um, in this planner on my Facebook and my Instagram and TikTok pages. All right, you guys, again, that is all for this particular video. Let me know down in the comment section if you like this type of video and if you would like to see more content here on this particular channel related to planner lifestyle and planning your life day by day. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning, that is part of my brand. So I really want to bring it back to this channel. So let me know down in the comment how you feel about it and if that is something that interests you. Also, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up if you like this video as well. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love and appreciate if you hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell notification right next to it. So you will be notified of when there are new videos such as this that have been uploaded and ready for you to check out. All right, you guys, that's all for this video. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.